Okay, so we're going to start off here. Um, I've got a particular uh, object opened already, and we're just going to look at the scene tree right now. That's this window. Um, in other modes, you could collapse it. Uh, right now, collapsing is disabled on this window. Um, it hides with the main window and unhides with all tools. It has specific icons for each type of entity that actually change when those entities are, are opened or selected. Um, <coughs> very quickly, the first number that you're going to see is how many children something might have. For example, there's one child, a pivot. There's eight children, all these meshes. Um, when you go into a mesh, a mesh can have actual surfaces or vertex data associated with it or not as this is an empty mesh. A pivot is very much like an empty mesh but it cannot contain actual vertexes later. It's, it's a very low resource item. Um, if you look inside a mesh it may have some surfaces. Although P3D gives surfaces a name there is no way in nuclear fusion for a surface to have a name. It is only index only. So these names are only valid inside this running instance of P3D. You cannot reference them out in your, in your game. You'd have to get the mesh. You can name, as you can see here, I've clicked on this one. The next component after the type mesh is N for name, is root. Um, this one has no name, so it's just blank. But if I was to name it, I could call it 1. Now you do have to set the name to actually set it, and there it is, it's named. Um, if you scan, manually scan a scene because you think something might have updated and didn't get force an update, you will be required to actually pick something from the tree directly from in the tree to reactivate the rest of the user interface. Um, on top of that, if you have surface selected a lot of the automatic and other features of, of P3D are shut down and that's just to protect the fact that the way surface data works is different from other data types so just be aware of that the only way to select and manipulate a surface right now is with the tree the tree is a scene graph it um, the way the tree works it will show and expand and go that way, but it shows all that's in the scene, including some of the system items like the camera. Um, when you select them, it'll populate the appropriate data in the different tabs here. Something that I'm just going to take a quick minute to cover, or a quick uh, note. If you turn your bounding box on, as it is now, and you select an entity here, or by clicking, and you're on entity level, it will surround the entire entity. If you drop to mesh level and select a mesh, it just surrounds that mesh. Now, if that mesh is also a, a, a single entity, then that's fine. But if the mesh contains more than one entity, then it will surround the entire mesh. As in this case, is actually bigger than the hull of the ship, because it will include this little antenna on the front. But uh, that is the scene tree. It is for displaying and selecting and getting a quick visual overview. There are some depreciated buttons down here, like Info and Cancel. Um, those buttons will probably be gone shortly. Um, edit Info just pop, used to pop this window up. And if you had a selected item, it will open the same thing that um, Extended Info does, which is if it's a an item that is compatible with the uh, info system, it'll spit up the, uh, as previously shown, the details. Now, uh, that's all about that for the tree. Um, we're going to close that down now, and uh, we'll go a little bit more into uh, some of the other uh, options.